Hi, I'm Amy Federighi. And for this city report, we're taking a look at Shawnee's Fire Department. The Shawnee Fire Department's mission statement is to protect us through effective response, prevention, and preparedness programs. Fire Chief Jimmy Gibson emphasizes a more active approach on public education, especially during Fire Prevention Week. Uh, well, Fire Prevention Week uh, is uh, a national day set aside. It always That week always falls in the week that October 9th falls in, uh, in remembrance of the Great Chicago Fire, actually. And uh, so uh, the fire departments nationally choose that week to really, uh, to really hone in on the, the uh, fire prevention messages. Uh, the National Fire Protection Association uh, typically will try to, will have a theme every year. Uh, so many departments do many different things uh, with that. Uh, we have one of the most aggressive uh, programs and that's our, our clown program, it's educational clowning. It uh, started out with some guys uh, years ago who just uh, saw um, saw the opportunity that that ha held to uh, teach the young people uh, fire prevention messages, and uh, so they went from just kind of pulling together some costumes and a little bit of makeup uh, to uh, where we are today. There are some essential truths that we teach every year. And, and uh, there are two or three probably main focuses. We're talking specifically about fire prevention. So uh, one, of, one, of the, one of the premier areas we like to cover every year is uh, how important it is to develop and practice your exit drills in the home. Uh, the, in fact, our acronym is EDITH, uh, and that is, stands for exit drills in the home. So, so we like to stress uh, to everybody to, to develop a plan on what you're going to do if your home is involved in a fire and not just develop that plan but to practice that plan. Studies have shown that people who develop and practice a plan have a much greater uh, uh, chance of survival in a home fire. So, so that is one of our, one of our primary uh, topics that we like to teach. Uh, also, since we are looking at children, our educational efforts are geared to children, uh, we talk about uh, the importance of not playing with matches and lighters. Uh, child set fires are uh, uh, a big, uh, big issue in the country and so we like to uh, it, it teach the children what to do if they see a match or lighter to don't touch it, go tell a grown up. Uh, and we like to encourage the adults in the house to keep those things away as much as you can from children and to educate your children uh, to have a mature decision making uh, ability to if you see that don't touch it. For more information you can go to the National Fire Protection Association website at www.nfpa.org. You can also follow Shawnee Fire Department on Twitter. We asked Chief Gibson why education is so important. Education is a key Education is key. Uh, throughout the history of the fire department, historically early on, uh, the fire service was looked at as a reactive organization. The fire department's there. If there's an instance where they're needed, they will react. They'll go respond and put the fire out. Well, the fire service started taking a look at that years ago and, and asked a good hard question. You know, do we do a greater service just being reactive or, or can we be even more beneficial uh, to the community and be a little more proactive and, and be out and, and uh, because there's so many things, uh, so many fires, so many, um, so many of the, the situations we run across the fire service are caused by human error, you know. So rather than just responding, can we get out, get ahead of the curve and educate the public? And, and we've seen uh, what a marked difference that makes. Uh, of course, there are other things that are involved with uh, more stringent code enforcement and things like that. But but education is the key. Uh, you know, th that's one of the things that uh, uh, we st I started seeing throughout the years with the clown program. The kids would know if your clothes catch on fire, stop, drop, and roll. Now, mom and dad may not necessarily know that. They may not have been taught that when they were in school. So uh, so uh, it, it's it's important. It's imperative that you educate that. Take it home uh, to to your family. That way, we're getting out in. With our public, you know, with our community, and uh, letting them know the things they can do to to, uh, to uh, stay safe. What does Edith stand for? <laughs> oh, there we go. Clowns. <laughs> Exit drills in the home. Very good. That's correct. Give yourselves a point.
job, ladies. They give each other a high five and kind of get pumped up. There you go. Correct. The answer is false. You never have a strength for life. Matter of fact, if you get lost, what you need to do is look for a police officer or maybe even a firefighter or a telephone. Maybe you can call home. For more information, go to shawneeok.org. I'm Amy Federighi with Your City Report. Thank you for watching.